wanted to prophesy. This is your prophecy. The man who pulled sword from stone. Behold, your born king. It's DTR, and I'm Akin. It's your boy Karen, and today we're doing King Arthur. So this movie is directed by Guy Ritchie, and it stars Charlie Hunnam, Jude Law, and Jaiman Unsu. So King Arthur is basically the evil uncle taking control of the crown after the death of his father. Now young Arthur have to grow up and try and take back control of his kingdom. All right, guys. Now this movie starts off trying to create a real dark, a real gloomy type of vibe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The first scene, it was just a landscape view, but it was completely silent. Yeah, but it was real airy, like I was just waiting in my seat like, what going to come? Where is this movie going to start? Now I have to bring mention to the style of the movie. Mm -hmm. The way it was shot or the way it was edited, mm -hmm. it was very unique, very different. And if we know Guy Ritchie, we know his editing style. Yeah, I mean, he, if you remember, he actually did um, Sherlock Holmes. Yes, yes, yes. So I remember those scenes. Yeah, that, like them, there were a lot of quick cuts and yeah. fast transitions and, you know? Yeah, it was like a here, then a here, then a somewhere here. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a very fast-paced movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's get into the story a little mm -hmm. bit. When the movie actually gets going mm -hmm. we see young Arthur as a little boy you know he grows up outside of the kingdom basically he ends up growing up in the slums yeah, yeah, yeah. man was a ghetto youth boy <laughs> for real? yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, come in the thing about it he was a ghetto youth he was a ghetto youth he actually grew up in a in a brothel mm -hmm. the the women of the brothel are the people that raised him until he was a, a big man basically he's from the bottom now we <laughs> After all of that now, we get into the uncle who basically wants as much power as possible now that he has the crown. Mm -hmm. You know what I have to say, boy? What's that, that boy? This movie was real magical, boy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like it had a lot of mage and mystical powers and just magical, boy. Like a Disney movie? <laughs> Now the uncle had to make certain sacrifices in order to gain the power needed to take over the, the crown basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I must say, I mean, big man thing. Man a belly boy. I couldn't do that. The man have belly. He clearly just wanted that power boy. Man had belly like Peter, you know? Yeah. <laughs> now when Arthur realized who he really is, mm -hmm. the man jump out himself, boy. Jump out <laughs> the man was bitter i mean when he pulled the sword of excalibur things in this movie got serious now the fight scenes looked like it came straight out of a video game boy uh -huh. if you all ever saw god of war mm -hmm. this movie and that movie had a lot in common boy just press x and ring the, the joystick <laughs> i mean yeah the fight scenes coming on to the end especially mm -hmm. thing looked like it was a boss fight yeah boy when he actually learned how to control Excalibur, the man went samurai X on everybody. Back to side. <laughs> it was left right in a blink of an eye. It had a scene where he must be clear we about 50 men. Yeah, boy. Like that. Like that, boy. All right, guys. Now, my one little... Like two fingers, though, but my one <laughs> little gripe. Mm -hmm. You know your belly does hot plenty here. Yeah? I always have gripes. Yeah, boy. boy. Continue. My one little issue mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. was that the supporting characters, honestly, was like, uh, meh, meh, meh. Meh. I didn't care for them. Mm -hmm. They did nothing for me. They didn't provide any sort of substance. They didn't really lend to the story much. But you know who did take the show? Though? Who's that boy? Excalibur boy. Excalibur. Excalibur was the highlight of the movie. It was just basically what gonna happen next with the sword. Yeah, I mean, I was just anticipating seeing Excalibur in use mm -hmm. and I will say when we did see Excalibur in use mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was not disappointed in the end this movie may not be for everyone especially with the fast-paced cutscenes but 
the movie, the visuals was epic. Yeah, boy. Excalibur was a boss. Yeah, boy. And it was highly entertaining. All right, guys. So if it is you want to know if it makes sense to get up out your house to see this movie, if you think it makes sense to spend their money, let us tell you mm -hmm. that King Arthur, mm -hmm. the legend of the sword, mm -hmm. is worth the line. Now guys, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube at the Trini Review.